again, this is Jennifer with NorthwestStamper.com. And today I was going to show you how to make these perfectly inked flowers on your embossing folder. Now, if you have seen cards with this before, you know that this is the embossing folder. It's called the Petals of Plenty. And what it does is it's kind of hard to see in the embossing folder itself, but it makes these little raised poinsettia type flowers. Now, a lot of times when you're trying to get color on here, you'll actually ink in your embossing folder to try to apply the color while you're doing the embossing. Um, unfortunately, with this type of pattern, having it this, so, so much of the pattern on here, it's really hard to do. You're either sitting there with a marker, which I did try, coloring in each flower. And let me tell you, that doesn't work very well at all. I... After coloring in a whole bunch, taking forever, it just kind of gave you this barely there splotched look. And if you color on the other side, it's going to give you an impression where it goes down in. So if you want to try to get it up here, it's actually way easier than you might think. So what you need to do is take your piece of paper, and we're not going to deal with inking in the folder. You're just going to take a plain piece of white paper, stick it in your embossing folder wherever you'd like, and then grab your Big Shot or whatever die cutting machine you have and you're just going to run it through so you're going to take if you have the big shot you'll take your platform flip one tab open I always slide it in so it's away from me and you're going to take and just sandwich run it through sorry if it shakes the camera a little now you have your pretty pattern but it's not colored which is what we want right so how do we do that very easily don't you love easy best way to crack what you're going to do is you're going to take your ink pad so in this case i'm taking my real red ink flip it open and you can take a sponge and sponge across the top and it looks kind of nice but you also see that it gets inside the lines and that's not really the look we're going for. We want this nicely uh, colored flower with all white underneath. So to get this nicely colored bit with the white on the inside, um, coloring on the top and no color on in the middle, grab your brayer. Now this is Stampin' Up! sprayer. Um, it's a hard or a harder rubber. Um, I guess, I don't know, it might be considered soft by brayer standards because it, you can squish it just a little. Um, feels kind of like um, one of those bouncy balls you know a little bit hard anyway so take your brayer ink it up on your ink pad and then just roll it across now the nice thing is because the brayer isn't that squishy it's not getting down inside between your flowers instead it's just going straight across the top giving you a nice rich look so you do that a few times and voila beautiful flowers. Then all you have to do, add it to your card, and you're done. So I hope that was helpful. Give it a try, and I bet you'll have fun too. Thanks for watching, and I will be back later.